Tracker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenance. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us here on this Friday evening. There is a lot that will be happening as we get further and further into the weekend. Saturday starts out pretty quiet, so we will have some strong wind along the Rocky Mountain front, but the winter weather advisory, the winter storm watch, uh, that really goes into effect for Sunday, Sunday night into Monday morning. Now, the wind, not that strong right now, but uh, wind will be picking up here tonight, and the high wind warning uh, continues until 9 o'clock on Sunday. Some very strong wind, stronger wind than we've seen in a while, and yeah, that says blizzard conditions here. Central Montana, north central uh, part of the state uh, could be hit with uh, some good snow and wind. This is more about the wind than anything else here. But uh, as much as 14 inches of snow into the little belts, the high woods, the big snowies here, uh, the Bear Paw Mountains, even the little Rockies could get hit uh, pretty hard with snow and wind Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. A little lighter snow, the high line from Fort Belknap through Haver to Chester, two to four inches of snow Sunday, 55 mile per hour wind gusts. And for Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, two to eight inches of snow along the Rocky Mountain front with wind again gusting 80 to 85 miles per hour. Helena not under an advisory watch or warning right now, but we'll have some snow and some wind and some unpleasant conditions on Sunday uh, as well here. There it is, just went up. I'm not sure if you could even see that on your screen, but uh, there's the system that will be moving in. There's another little storm down over the four corner states and some snow moving out of New England. So tonight, Tomorrow, kind of quiet. Enjoy it while we have it, because Sunday, that's not going to be the case. There may be a few flurries into eastern Montana tomorrow afternoon, but uh, really not a whole heck of a lot. We'll have increasing clouds through the day tomorrow ahead of the front. First, we'll have a cold front coming through here Saturday night, so maybe a burst of snow or a snow squall even. A little heavy snow Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then the area of low pressure will rotate down into the state here with snow and wind spreading through a lot of the state here Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. So snow accumulation by Saturday night, mainly up there into Glacier. But then by Sunday, we're starting to see that snow accumulate. And here by Monday morning, a few inches in the lower elevations with, again, those central mountains could pick up 12 to even 14 inches of snow. Yeah, it'll be a windy night, Bab, Browning, Cup Bank, Shoto. However, that wind will intensify tomorrow, tomorrow night into Sunday morning. Not as cold out the high line here tonight into tomorrow. Hey, mid-20s around Lewistown, that's uh, no real problem with that. And a few cooler locations around Helena will be down into the teens. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Increasing clouds in the afternoon. You want some sunshine? You'll have it in the morning. And not too bad, fairly mild, 30s and some 40s. Cup Bank, Great Falls, Lewistown, Roundup. That does come with some stronger wind. Now, Saturday night into Sunday morning, the cold front goes through. So there's kind of a little one-two punch. First, it's the front. Then it's the area of low pressure dropping southward into the state with areas of lighter snow. The snow could be heavy at times into the mountains, but it's, again, the combination of snow and wind especially in the north central part of the state that could create blizzard conditions at times. Difficult travel Sunday evening into Monday morning even. Now, Monday night, another little system comes through. Most of the state is partly cloudy, chilly, and breezy. But Monday night, another little snow event coming through. And Tuesday, we could have areas of snow and wind through the state again with a, a similar storm coming through. Some light snow. Uh, continuing on Wednesday as well, Thursday and Friday, not too bad. Those temperatures a little bit below average. A lot of January, most of the state thus far has been above average. And Fort Great Falls, windy and mild tomorrow. Windy with snow and colder temperatures on Sunday and difficult travel conditions.